All right. This is Brian X3000 back again for a second part video to my, well, not necessarily a second part video, it's just a, a continuation of my previous videos on open carry in Texas. Now, in the other one I mentioned reasons why open carry is good, reasons why I like or I'll really consider going open carry. And a few other things here and there. But in this one, I'm actually going to talk about how far open carry seems to be going in Texas here. Right now, there are a lot of people who seem to be skeptical about open carry. They say to go back to the Wild West. You know, other people say, you know, it would be scary walking walking down the street with someone carrying a gun on their head. People who are, you know, anti-gun groups and anti-gun individuals claim that uh, it's going to be scary. You don't know who's who, who's actually planning to harm you or your family or whatever. You know, if you see someone walking down the street with... Uh, an open carry fire. But look at it from this way. Which one is scary? Seeing someone with a weapon, let's say it's not even a firearm, any kind of weapon, but in our situation, a firearm. You see someone who's carrying a firearm and out in the open. Let's even say he's a threat, okay? He's carrying out in the open, he's a threat, you see him, you get enough chance to run away before he can find think of doing anything. But if he walks into a room, everyone looks at him, he looks just like another ordinary individual, then he brings out a gun and starts to shoot. Is that not scary? Now, it has been shown that a gun society actually brings down the level of crime rather than increasing the level of crime. There's enough statistics, there's enough facts to prove this all online. You can always just search that up, you'll find enough information on that. You know, most of the anti-gun advocates and Brady groups and all that would disagree, but the stats and the facts don't lie. So, you actually have a gun society, you have it out in the open. You know that, okay, if you want to be afraid of someone with a gun, if you see that he has one, you know, okay, you should be afraid of him if you want to be afraid, you know, don't say any reason why, but their choice. Now you have someone who walks by you in a shopping mall on the street. He has a gun underneath his coat, his jacket, and you have no idea. They have no idea how many people they pass every single day having a firearm somewhere in their person and they don't freak out about it. Why? Because they don't know. They don't know because they're not educated to know. I believe kind of in the open initially, like all things, is going to have some problem, which is another thing people talk about. The 3006 signs that are already in existence, skyrocketing out of control, I don't believe that will happen. I believe, uh, like all things, especially gun-related legislations, is going to start popping out in some few places, but after a while, they're going to see that there's nothing to be afraid of. Same thing happened with concealed carry when they come in, into town. But after it came in, a few got used to it, some places that have the signs of fine see and understand, they've been enlightened and they now take their signs down. That time is going to be nothing different. So, they go ahead and take their signs down eventually. Everyone you know, sees that those who carry their guns are in the open, which, like most people will know, no criminal really will want to carry his gun out. He doesn't want to advertise or draw attention to himself before he's ready to commit a crime. So he's going to want to keep his gun concealed. That's not to say that anyone who has a concealed gun is actually a criminal. 
but it just means that most people who you see, if not almost all of them, who are kind of got out in the open, they are people who don't care about drawing attention to themselves at a particular point in time, who generally will not be criminals, which is an easy way to try and know who, you know, which from which. That said, if you go ahead and you decide that you want to carry conceal even when the law comes out, the law is not the law that they're trying to bring out does not disturb concealed carry, which is the thing I don't understand for those people who are you know strict concealed carry you know, individuals. It just gives you the opportunity to have a change, a variety, an option, a second option. To either conceal carry or keep your guy in the open. So going and supporting open carry legislation of the bill or uh, constitutional carry seems like a thing that any gun owner should be willing to do. So, you yeah. know, like I was saying uh, just you know, earlier, if you actually have the gun on the open, people get educated seeing that respectable, respectable people can have firearms and not go about shooting people and turn everything into uh, some sundown shootout or you know whatever that they've seen in all the Clint Eastwood movies and you know, all these olden day movies or you know, cowboys and you know out there. So I just think that it would be great to have open carry in Texas here. And the people would eventually get used to it. They eventually see that there's nothing to worry about. Some of them might even go ahead and support our cause. By support our cause, I mean they might actually go ahead and get a hang up for themselves when they realize that everyone, you know, has one for personal defense. You never know when you're going to need it. In Texas right now, like I mentioned also in my earlier video, there's no bill for it just at this very moment. I'm hoping they'll bring one out before the January, uh, so yeah, January legislation actually sits in for the next se session. The 2011 session, that is. But hey, one can never be too sure about these things. So that's why we need to push and meet our representatives, meet our state senate people, and get them to push for it for the next in second session in July in January 2011. So far, there's a man, John Chilavida, who's thinking of going and proposing this particular bill, but so far he hasn't. You guys can contact him. Uh, I will leave his name on the screen and probably a link, probably in the description to actually you to contact him. Also, you can try and sign the petition, the Texas Open Carry Petition. I'll also try and leave a link to that too. And let's get open carry or constitutional carry here in Texas. Thanks a lot. Feel free to subscribe. Feel free to leave your comments, your notes, anything. Thumbs up too is good. So I guess I'll catch you guys later. And remember, open carry. It works. You guys have a nice day now.